You will need to remove the front red arrow and rear yellow arrow engine covers along with the air ducts green arrows. Please see our article and videos on engine cover removal for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. With the covers removed, you can see the six coils, red arrows, three on each cylinder head. On the Mercedes 350 engine, the coils sit on top of the spark plugs. This is a good idea to number each coil for reinstalling. While the coils are interchangeable if you need to, troubleshoot an error code, you can swap coils to determine whether it is a bad coil or another problem with the cylinder or plug. To remove the coil, begin by using a small flathead screwdriver and sliding back the gray clip in the connection as indicated by the red arrow. Next, use the gray clip to press gently down and slide the electrical connection back off the coil. Red arrow. Use a T30 torque and remove the two torque bolts holding each coil in place. Red arrow. The coils on the rear of each cylinder head are a tight fit so be prepared with some extensions and universal joints. Pull the coil straight up and out from the valve cover. The electrical connection from the coil to the plug is inside a rubber sheath, red arrow. This helps protect the connection from the elements and electrical interference. Make sure you line these up when reinstalling. You will need a thin-walled 5.8 spark plug socket. A regular spark plug socket will not fit in the valve cover. Use your thin walled socket and an extension and remove the plugs. The plugs should not be torqued in very tight. If you are having real difficulty removing them, then there may be another issue you are dealing with. The plugs at the rear of each cylinder head are difficult to access, so make sure you take your time and that everything is lined up correctly. The plugs from our project car motor were fine. You want to inspect the electrode for wear and to get a general idea of the health of the engine. The plug should have a burnt grayish brown look. Any sign of oil or carbon buildup or white ash are all signs of something else wrong with the motor. You can place a little dielectric grease on the electrical connection end of the plug before installing. Do not place anti-seize on the side of the plug. It doesn't need it, and that is used as a ground and will only make for a poor running motor. Take your time, especially when installing the new plugs, as you do not want to cross-thread the openings in the cylinder head. Remember to work on a cold engine. A hot engine causes the metal to expand, making cross-threading easier. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.